Plex recently announced their integration with Tidal, a new, well, not new, 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 new anymore, but a music streaming service that focuses on kind of getting the new releases as quickly as possible from a few artists and having high fidelity audio streaming and lossless formats or very high quality formats, which appealed to me because while I don't think I'd fit the label of audiophile, I do like collecting very high end headphones and using high end audio hardware and achieving good listening experiences, got my own little vinyl collection, all of that. And I wanted a chance to break out my shit audio Magni and Modi. I believe that is, I got the new Modi three, I believe. Um, audio DAC amp set that I got like way back in the summer and haven't really had a time to dig into much with. And so I was pretty interested. I figured if it could replace like a traditional Spotify or Google Play music subscription for high fidelity new music, that would be pretty cool. The only problem is 20 bucks for the high fidelity streaming service per month. It's just a little too high for me. That is, I could continue listening to my existing archive of digital and physical music and buy a new CD every month and still come out with more money than I would by buying that. But that's all besides the point. We're gonna be checking out the integration with Plex today uh, for my monthly sponsored Plex tutorial. I will have affiliate links to Plex where you can sign up for free, get a Plex pass, or gift a Plex pass to someone else in the description below as always. So let's jump in. I love how the heat can be on for or off for hours and then only come on when I go to record. Heavens every time. So when you sign up through Plex, you actually do get a 30 day free trial of either the standard title service or the high fidelity one, which is pretty neat and certainly allowed, allowed me to check it out. And it's a kind of neat service. They have both music and music videos and other side things. And they have the deluxe versions of albums with all the extra bonus tracks. Like it's kind of a neat service, even though some albums have duplicates and some weird stuff like that. The Plex integration is kind of bare bones at the moment, as has been the case with a lot of the integrations that I've shown off the past couple months and that they kind of got it, got it out of the door fairly quickly, but it needs a little work. Uh, once you pull it up in your Plex library here, it is available as its own. It's basically as its own Plex server. You do not need a dedicated Plex server running in your home for it since it's not music that's on your physical hardware in the first place, which is very good. Glad to see that. Uh, but it treats it basically as its own little server thing, just like the news, the podcast, the web shows, those kinds of things. And it's laid out, you know, visually interesting. The sidebar is still very empty. I would like to see that improved. There isn't the kind of like recommendation and discovery services that there are with other media streaming services. And I believe is completely present in Tidal's core service. And so your suggested new tracks and new playlists, which is mostly music I don't really listen to, uh, Plex recommended artists, which is pretty cool. There are a couple there that I listen to. So Plex is doing their own curating here, although it's fairly small. And the new and top albums and, and Plex picks of specific songs, I guess. Um, and then you can manually check specific songs to be in your title list, or you can start making title playlists but it does make discovery a little more difficult because if you want to find like a specific genre or a specific artist, you just kind of got to type in their name and select them and then manually find the songs. And if you do browse to an artist, there is a play radio button, which will actually do some of what I just described. It will basically create a radio station based on things like that artist, but you have to start with that specific artist and the button is super hidden and you don't get a ton of control. Like you can actually rearrange songs here, which is really cool. Um, but, and you can actually remove songs from the list and things like that. I don't know. It's still just missing some of those recommendation things. And there's still no like, Hey, just recommend me new music in the first place based on my likes. So it's getting there. It's getting there and it's really nice. I don't see myself sticking with title. And by the way, if you want to cancel, you have to cancel. If you started with the trial through Plex, not through title itself as bite my bits discovered in his video. But I, I do like where they're going with this. My, and like I said, uh, with some of these features and knowing that they will add some of the features that I'm talking about probably very shortly. And the fact that title itself does kind of get some exclusive album launches. Sometimes this could be pretty compelling for some people if they're already interested in the service. However, I would very much like to see them integrate other streaming services into this because just launching with one while probably a lucrative deal for Plex 
kind of sucks for the rest of us that want to use other things. Like at the moment, I've always enjoyed Spotify, um, but I currently just mainly use Google Play Music because it's provided with my YouTube premium sub. And so far, their recommendations with their I'm feeling lucky playlists and stuff like that have been pretty good. Like I was able to just throw it because I've liked, you know, my whole gamut of stuff that I like from hard rock to metal to a little tiny bit of hip hop to K-pop. You know, you t some services really struggle with those kind of recommendations and it just threw together with one of my I'm feeling lucky playlists, just a group of Japanese metal songs. And it actually fit my recommendations like to a T with all of those crossings stuff I'd never heard of, of course, since I didn't like all the songs, but it's kind of interesting what it comes up with. But there's no integration for that. And so I would rather see, you know, maybe since titles kind of a niche service to then have Spotify, Google Play, Pandora, those kind kind of come out all at once kind of in a in the next round of just music as a service here in Plex. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, but links to Plex will be in the description below. As always, the feature is fairly simple to figure out. One thing that is cool is if you do set up all of your title playlists or are already a user and have all that set up on title itself, those do sync over to Plex. So nothing to worry about there. So that's pretty cool. But yeah. And this might be by far the single best moment in UI design I've ever seen. Update links and all of that will be in the description below. They are trying to supplement plugins with stuff that they think people use, and I hope that they do manage to make that work, because the stuff they're coming up with can be pretty cool. Just need a little bit of an extra step there. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more tech education. I'm Vox. I'll see you in the next one.